Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Nundas, the Tech Teacher, and in this video I want to show you how to import designs from Thingiverse into Tinkercad. Let's get started. So I'm starting off in Tinkercad here, and I'm going to leave it on my uh, homepage because I want to go over to this website called Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a great website where you can get free designs already made, download them, and bring them into Tinkercad, and then you can customize them in Tinkercad. So let me show you how to do this. You want to open up a new page. You want to search for Thingiverse. The word thing and then I and verse. It's kind of uh, combining thing and universe together. So anyways, Thingiverse. And then you want to click on Thingiverse. Now you don't have to sign in. I'm already signed in on my account, but you could do this uh, for free without having to create an account or signing in. Okay. So up on the top, you want to do a search for whatever it is that you want to try to download and bring into Tinkercad. Now, not all objects work, and so sometimes this is a trial and error, but um, if you wanted to look up something, you just type it up. For example, I typed in robot. Maybe I want to bring in a robot from Thingiverse into Tinkercad. I do a little search, and so I look for an item that I want. Okay click on the item you want to look for the download page and usually it's in some th section called think files and then you want to download sometimes there's one version of the item or sometimes there's two and so you just pick and choose which one I really stress that you choose an item that's already made in one piece if it's got several pieces that's just not gonna work for our purposes in school and it's gonna take too long so I suggest you choose something like this robot there's two versions of this robot and so you can just click download all right it's going to download a file the file uh, format is a .stl .stl is a way the file shows up on our end so it's downloaded in my downloads folders and so I'm going to go over to Tinkercad and before I do that I want to show you that in Tinkercad this is where I found the turtle that we used in the game Robot Turtles <laughs> So that was a fun little turtle. So many turtles I could have choose, chosen. So anyway, going back to Tinkercad, we want to press new, 3D design, and let's bring in this robot. Hopefully it works out for us, all right? Now, on the top right-hand corner, we have a button called Import. We want to click on it, and then we want to choose a file. We can just drag it and drop it, or we can click on it and go to our Downloads folder. So I'm going to just click and drag and put it in there. And so you'll get some settings here and so I, I usually just leave this alone and see if it'll work if sometimes this doesn't work you might have to shrink your um, object for example this object right now is at its regular size 100 percent which means that it's going to be about 127 millimeters by 144 in other words 12 centimeters by 14 centimeters and a height of uh, 90 or 9 centimeters or 93 millimeters. Anyways, press import and let's see if it works. It's going to load on the bottom left hand corner. It will tell you the status. And if it works, you will see an object show up and then we'll make adjustments if we need to. All right. Now, if it works successfully, we can make um, some nice changes, um, not necessarily to the object, but we can add things to it. All right. And so here's our object. I'm going to use my right click. So this is a good size. Now, would I let you print it this big? Probably not, um, but you can work on it this big. I would probably end up shrinking it on my end before I print it for you. But um, let's try to add a couple things just so you know that you can make it your own, okay? So for example, okay, um, if we want to add some more text to this, right? And you wanna say, I don't know, let's call it my robot and we want to add it somewhere on this guy maybe we want to add it onto his arm somewhere okay I'm going to shrink this a little bit let's bring it over here use my arrows okay and let's see if this works okay this is a little tricky business maybe instead of my robot I'm gonna just leave it as robot okay and I'm gonna use this arrow 
to push it into his arm. Okay. Maybe you want to put your name on there instead of just putting robot, right? So now he's got robot there. And maybe last but not least, let's go to our creatures and characters section. What if we want to give him some sunglasses? This robot needs sunglasses. Okay. Remembering I'm using my mouse and I'm using right click to um, shift the workspace here I'm using this black arrow to move the object up and down and then left click just to push it where it needs to go so let's raise this a little bit I think I got the depth just right I think I got it guys could it be a little bit nicer maybe but I'm not gonna worry about how perfect it is but check it out let's see if I can cover his eyes a little bit more uh, I think it's this one I'm trying to find the right dot nope I'm gonna do undo I'm trying to find my dot to lower it nope this guy right here nope trying to create some height to the shades so that he covers up his whole eyelids and anyway there you have it don't forget to click and drag all your objects you want to group them together so if I move this guy or if I even shrink them a little bit more it adjusts accordingly all right Panthers I'm gonna give it a name robot click out of that and it's saved so check it out I just brought in an object from Thingiverse searched for it went to the download files downloaded it came over to Tinkercad imported it right clicked and drag it I could also choose file and go to my downloads folders and find it okay but anyhow did my adjustments changes added things and voila got a custom Thingiverse object friends so good luck can't wait to see your designs have fun with this Bye for now.